global hub for millets millets which are shri anna india as the forefront india's at the forefront of popularizing millets whose consumption further nutrition furthers nutrition food security and welfare of farmers said the honorable prime minister we are the largest producer and second largest exporter of shri anna in the world we grow several types of shri anna such as shri anna jowar shri anna ragi shri anna bajra shri anna kutu ramdana kangni kutni kutki khodo china and sama these have a number of health benefits and have been an integral part of our food for centuries i acknowledge with pride the huge service done by small farmers in contributing to the health of fellow citizens by growing these shri anna now to make india a global hub for shri anna the indian institute of millet research ideally indian institute of the shri anna research hyderabad will be supported as the center of excellence for sharing best practices research and technologies at the international level the agricultural credit target will be increased to 20 lakh crores with focus on animal husbandry dairy and fisheries we will launch a new sub scheme for of pm matsya sampada yojana which is an existing scheme but we launch a new sub scheme with targeted investment of 6000 crores to further enable activities of fishermen fish vendors and micro and small entrepreneurs improve value chain efficiencies and expand the market for farmers especially small and marginal farmers and other marginalized sections the government is promoting cooperative based economic development model a new ministry of cooperation was formed with a mandate to realize the vision of sahkar se samriddhi to realize this vision the government has already initiated compu- computerization of 63000 primary agricultural credit societies with an investment of 2560 crores 2516 crores in consultation with all the stakeholders and the states model bylaws for pacs were formulated enabling them to become multi purpose pacs a national cooperative database is being prepared for country wide mapping of cooperative societies with this backdrop we will implement a plan to set up massive decentralized storage capacity this will help farmers store their produce and realize remunerative prices through sale at appropriate times the government will also facilitate setting up of a large number of multi purpose cooperative societies primary fishery societies and dairy cooperative societies in uncovered panchayat and villages in the next 5 years health education and skilling 157 new nursing colleges will be established in co location in co location with the existing 157 medical colleges established since 2014 a mission to eliminate sickle cell anemia by 2047 will be launched it will entail awareness creation 
universal screening of 7 crore people in the age group of 0 to 40 years in affected tribal areas and counseling through collaborative efforts of central ministries and state governments. Facilities in select ICMR labs, Indian Council for Medical Research Labs, will be made available for research by public and private medical college faculty and private sector R&D teams for encouraging collaborative research and innovation. A new pharma program, a new program to promote research and innovation in pharmaceuticals will be taken up through centers of excellence. We shall also encourage industry to invest in research and development in specific priority areas. Dedicated multidisciplinary courses for medical devices will be supported in existing institutions to ensure availability of skilled manpower for futuri futuristic medical technologies, high-end manufacturing and research. Teachers training. Teachers training will be re-envisioned through innovative pedagogy, curriculum transaction, continuous professional development, dipstick surveys and ICT implementation. The District Institute of Education and Training will be developed as vibrant institutes of excellence for this purpose. National Digital Library for Children and Adolescents. A National Digital Library for Children and Adolescents will be set up for facilitating availability of quality books across geographies, languages, genres, and levels, and device agnostic accessibility. States will be encouraged to set up physical libraries for them at panchayat and ward levels and provide infrastructure for accessing the national digital library resources. Additionally, to build a culture of reading and to make up for pandemic time learning loss, the National Book Trust, the Children's Book Trust and other sources will be encouraged to provide and replenish non-curricular titles in regional languages and in English to these physical libraries. Collaboration with NGOs that work in literacy will also be a part of this initiative to inculcate 